Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Your home for all the info you need to know when you're just trying to survive on a budget. This is the Taurus Spectrum 380. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Condition 1 for being able to get it for me at a price I could actually afford. I've been trying to get it for a little over a year now. Either they couldn't get it for me or the price was more than what I could afford. So if you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I was saying, this is the Taurus Spectrum. It took me a little over a year to get it because I wanted it a certain way. Now it comes with your owner's manual. Uh, you can join the NRA for free. Now, the problem was I could find it in all the different colors except for the one I really wanted, which was the mint green with the black slide and the gray frame. Now it comes also comes with this little lock that nobody uses. Okay it has a six round magazine with the pinky extension and also comes with a six round magazine with the flat bottom on it. You know your pinky can't really fit too good around that. You can still get a pretty decent grip And it has these little insets, these rubber insets to make it easy to slide. But let's go ahead and take this out to the range and see how it functions. Okay, we're going to be shooting the Winchester 380 Auto 95 grain. This is what they look like. I'm going to start with the clip without the extension on it. I'm going to slow fire it and see how I do on target. Then I'm going to use the one with the extension on, fast fire it and see how we do with it. Low fire is going to be on the left, fast fire is going to be on the right. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to drop the clip. Now, to be honest, it looks like I'm all over the place. Okay, let me go over some quick specs before I give you my final thoughts. It has a low profile sight, as you can see, they're real close to the slide. Overall length from tip to back is 5.4 inches. Height is 3.8 inches. The width is 0.89 inches. The weight is 10 ounces. The barrel is 2.8. It's made of carbon steel. It's also made in the United States from Miami, Florida. Now as you can see it functions really well and it's a good carry gun. I've been carrying it for a little while now, about a month. I didn't show you the targets because one, well as you can see it was really cold outside and I just wanted to get home and two, well my aim was horrible. I was cold. I was, I just wanted to get home. But it functions well. It's a great loader gun. You can find it for around 225 to 250. I mean, for the price, if you're looking for a small concealed carry or even something home defense, this would be a great little gun. It's easy to operate. I mean, I I, I can't I couldn't find really nothing bad 
about the gun, all for the, except for one fact that it doesn't have a safety, but it does have that long, heavy trigger pull to it. Okay. I mean, if you, if you don't want a gun that doesn't have a safety, this ain't going to be the gun for you. But if you don't mind it not having a safety, if you carry it unchambered, it's going to be a great gun for you. I know when they first came out, they had slot issues with it not going back the whole way, but they did fix that problem. It, th this gun's working great. So I'm going to have to give this a 5 out of 5 star rating. Once again, thanks to Condition 1 for being able to get me this gun at a price I could afford. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.